¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Una nueva edición de Auto 060 aquí en Cristina Radio Network, canal 153 de Sirius XM Radio. Bueno, y después de hablar con Tom Peters, el diseñador en jefe del exterior del nuevo Corvette Stingray 2014, eh, después de la prueba de manejo que hicimos por allá en California, decíamos, manejamos casi 200 millas eh, y después una prueba de performance en la pista. Eh, vamos a hablar ahora con Touch Juchter, que es el ingeniero en jefe que desarrolló lo que es la potencia y todo lo que tiene que ver con el desempeño del nuevo Corvette Stingray 2014. Well, Touch, uh, thank you very much for uh, having us here on the first uh, driving event for the new Corvette Seventh Generation Corvette. And uh, so for you guys, it's what, like four, year, four years in development and then like auto show showing and then all these things. And now finally here on uh, driving it. It's just awesome to be here. Uh, It, yeah, it's been four years of focused development, but it's really been 60 years in the making. Uh, you know, we stand on the success of the previous cars and the people who worked on the previous cars. So, uh, yeah, we're really happy to have it out here and be able to showcase it for everybody. Yeah, big responsibility, you know, because as you say, it's a car, it's a county car for, for not only for Chevrolet, but for like the whole United States, basically for the whole auto, uh, United States uh, auto industry. Yes, it's a lot of responsibility. We take it very seriously, and uh, we've had excellent support uh, from General Motors, Chevrolet, to uh, try to put together a car that's really fantastic, spectacular in every way. Yeah, a lot of technology and the, in the, um, um, the engine, the suspension, and everything. Can you talk a little bit about that? When they presented first, they said 150 horsepower. Now I hear in 460. It's 460 horsepower. That's with the optional exhaust. Oh, okay. The standard car is 455 okay. uh, horsepower and a lot of low-end torque. And you mentioned technology. There's technology everywhere you look on the car. You can hardly pick up a part uh, of the new Corvette and not have a technology story, whether it's the magnesium frame and the seats, whether it's all new aluminum structure, whether it's the first-time use of carbon fiber on Class A panels on a standard Corvette. The infotainment, you know, two high-definition screens uh, inside the car. Pretty much everywhere you look, the electronic uh, limited slip differential, there's a story to be told, and it is all focused on improving the driving experience. So the car, the new car is like 98%, I believe, like ev everything is new, but it's like for like a couple parts, maybe small parts? There's only two new parts, or two parts that are carried yeah, over from the previous you. car. Yeah, and uh, besides all that and the new technology development, the price is still not that high for what you get in this car. I mean... You mentioned some other vehicles to compete with, but really, for the price and what you get, they're really hard to compare. <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, you know, we've held the price essentially carryover. Yeah. If you look at the content, uh, there's some standard content that was optional on the previous generation car. Uh, it's essentially a carryover price, so you get all that technology for free. Yeah. And um, so this car, I mean, it's uh, it's been like as we said, an, an American icon, and uh, but not very popular in other parts of the world. But with this one, that's more or less what the, the thinking behind that new design was, right? Well, uh, we think it's a more international design. We think making the car out of aluminum, which is perceived as a prestigious, a premium execution, having carbon fiber on the car, um, I think the com combination of excellent fuel efficiency and excellent performance, I think we have a chance to sell more, far more cars uh, overseas than we have previously. Uh, but the truth is, you know, we'll wait and see. You know, we'll, yeah. uh, we're, we're planning to distribute the Corvette globally and uh, If everybody wants it, we'll build them some. <laughs> exactly. I mean, we're driving here in uh, Monterey, so in California, and the reaction is amazing. Everybody thumbs up to the car everywhere it goes. So I'm, I'm sure, uh, ha have you had that kind of reaction with your uh, testing in Germany and uh, all those places? Yeah, it's really surprising, the reaction. We, we knew the car would be perceived as a different, obviously different car. We didn't realize the design, the power of the design, where the reaction to people would be so... A visceral, where yeah. uh, they almost can't help themselves. They're drawn to the car. So we have people chasing us down, wanting to get their picture by it, or uh, even chasing us to our homes, uh, wanting to get more information about the car. Well, that's a good sign, I guess, for what's coming up. For, uh, very, very good sign. Yes. Uh, thank you very much, and congratulations again for the fabulous car. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Pues ese fue Touch Jester, el ingeniero en jefe que estuvo trabajando durante cuatro años en el desarrollo del nuevo... Corvette Stingray 2014, el auto que ya muy pronto va a estar a la venta acá en Estados Unidos y empieza con un precio fabuloso que es de apenas 51.995 dólares para el Coupé 
y 56.995 para el convertible, pero para ser eh, totalmente justos, el que estuvimos probando por allá en California tenía un precio de 64 mil dólares. Sin embargo, eh, por ese precio, 64 mil dólares, con un motor V8 de 6.2 litros, que da 460 caballos de fuerza y además una gran cantidad de tecnología. Eh, eh, de la, en el motor, en la suspensión, un muy mucho muy mejorado diseño interior que era una de las grandes fallas que tenía el Corvette anterior, el, el C6 en, la, en comparación con sus um, competidores. Realmente por 64 mil dólares todavía es un auto, es mucho auto por esa cantidad de dinero. Así que bueno, esa fue la presentación que tuvimos en California para el nuevo Corvette Stingray 2014. Y como les decía, en el último segmento de este show vamos a hablar con mi colega Laura Bernstein, que es con quien estuve manejando por allá, por las uh, calles carreteras de California y después en una prueba de autocross ahí en el aeropuerto municipal de Monterrey. Eh, y ella nos va a dar las impresiones, vamos a compartir un poco lo que fueron nuestras impresiones de la primera prueba de manejo del Corvette Stingray 2014. Y no se vayan que cuando regresemos aquí en Auto 060, todos los concept conceptos, los prototipos que vimos en el Pebble Beach Concourse de Elegance. Esto es Auto 060, yo soy Javier Mota. Música 